And we're back. We've uh, we've got some Pokemon here. It's uh, been a few days, I guess, since I've uploaded a battle, mainly because I had exams, and then I was travelling down to London yesterday, and, and now I'm here, and I have my laptop instead of my desktop, so obviously videos aren't going to be in as high a quality because of the, the restrictions of my laptop being a piece of overheating shit. But, you know, it's... Maybe you can get some narrations that are compensating for that. So, I'll lead off with Halucha. This is against Nagi, by the way. It's a really dumb match, and I enjoyed it. So, <laughs> let's get into it. He goes mega turn one. My Halucha, however, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't really care. Um, it's a little bit afraid of not being able to kill this Agron in, like, two hits, because it's going to take, like, four, because this thing is bulky and ridiculously defensive as shit. But, I have Encore, which is... For the perfect time like this where he sets up Stealth Rock and he's locked into it and he can't do anything else to my Halucha. So, knowing now that Nagi is no way going to stay in with his Agron locked into Stealth Rock on my Halucha, I, ladies and gentlemen, go for the greatest play that I have had in a stream because it just made me laugh so much. Like, the, the switch was really obvious and it was a really easy play to make, but it was just so fantastic because I, I pull off the Sky Attack and destroy the Gorgai in one hit. I loved it. I was so happy. Nagi was pissed. I was laughing my ass off. It was a good time for everyone. And also, because my Halucha uh, got the unburden, it means that even if his Rotom is scarfed, I can outspeed it. And I end up also uh, living a Hydro Pump. So I almost kill him with one, but uh, the second uh, is going to be able to clinch it for me. Goes back into this guy who I know I'm definitely not going to take out with a high jump kick. So I'm going to U-turn out. Uh, again, I'm not sh quite sure U-turn works that well on this set, but I've been too lazy to change it, so it's staying there for the moment. Going to Politoed because I feel like, you know, if I get some, some Scalds off here, get a sub off, you know, it could be a nice situation to be in, especially when I'm resisting the Iron Head, you know, there's a little bit of a bonus going on there. Um, and I am definitely uh, looking looking at that and being like, yeah, it's, it's good. Seems, seems like a, a good idea. Uh, now goes into Blissey, and I, uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, lack of foresight here as I end up subbing on a Blissey, to which I can effectively do nothing. Because, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, it's still a Blissey, and no matter how many generations we go through, Blissey will always be an annoying pink blobbing blob, and I don't want to deal with it. And, um, and I, I have to, unfortunately because I'm facing one down, but, um, you know, it would be preferable not to. I go into Excadrill simply because I was thinking, okay, I can uh, take the T-Bolt, because uh, he's going to go for that, and then spin, because I want to get rid of those rocks, because then I can bring in Halucha again and not die. I, I think maybe Halucha might have been able to live the switch in any way, but... Uh, anyway, I can I know I can take a Flamethrower as well, because the rain is going on, but then that stops, so I'm like, okay, well... I've, uh, Extra Drill's usefulness has uh, kind of come to its end at this point in the match, but it will be useful later, so I'm going to keep him around. Go back into Politoed, set up Brain again to take the Flamethrower, and then uh, I think I'm just going to sack this thing, because I honestly don't want to switch something into Blissey. Uh, like, I don't want to switch Halutrin because it's going to die to a single hit, and that's kind of the, the one thing that I need to get in on this Blissey. So what I aim to do is to take a little bit of his HP away with some Focus Blast, uh, and then bring in my Halucha to finish the job off with its high jump kick, but um, I'm not sure if Nagi is going to want to stay in here and, and try and go for uh, for some soft boils. Um, I try for the school to get a burn, and I end up getting it, which is also pretty neat, and he shows me Dazzling Gleam, which I'm like, okay, well, that's pretty cool. Also, by the way, notice how little these special attacks are doing. This is a Blissey, yes, but also notice how he doesn't have leftovers, and how he hasn't used any status moves yet. That's because, ladies and gentlemen, Nagi's using an Assault Vest Blissey, and not only that, but my Halucha comes in and decides that after all the fantastic things he did at the beginning of the match, he's just going to just throw himself into the wall at the other side and, and die instead. So, missing that was pretty bad. Um, now going to my Dragonite, however, which is a perfect opportunity to set up a Dragon Dance, because I know that this Blissey is not going to be able to kill me in one hit, uh, and the multi-scale is uh, intact. And I was hoping he would go for the Ice Beam, but Nagi knows that I run a Dragonite with uh, weakness policy, meaning if he'd gone for the Ice Beam, he would have given me the boost. Now, I decide here to go for the Dragon Dance again, thinking that he would just go for a Dazzling, dazzling Gleam and I could live it, because um, that was the only move I'd seen on his set that could do enough damage to me. Uh, and I forgot that the fact that he also had Ice Beam, but he hadn't shown that at this point. But Nagi, because he's an idiot, clicks Flame instead um he tries to you know pass it off as a misclick but 
I'm pretty sure he was trying to predict me to uh, do some crazy shit there. Uh, <laughs> I can't really justify that, but whatever. I don't care, because Dragonite got up all the stuff it needed to do uh, and is going to utterly sweep through this team. Uh, because I live a Dragon Pulse from Gudra, the shiny Gudra. This thing, not able to take the hits. Also, the weakness, yes! That was the thing. I live the Dragon Pulse and weakness policy activated. So now, uh, plus two speed, plus four attack. Uh, and plus two special attacks, so, um, yeah, in comes Agra, and Nagi's like, dude, I'm gonna live this, I'm like, fucking, no way in hell, bro, get out, get out, n n not a, not an even slither of a slender of a, of a bitter end of a hope there, um, and then, oh, yeah, I forget that this thing's fairy type, so I go for outrage, and let him get up a belly drum, and by the way, he's gonna eat that berry, get his health back, and now has unburden, so he has a, uh, a stupid cupcake with double speed and six attack, plus six attack. But, by the way, I also have plus two speed with Dragonite, and even a double speed of a cupcake is not going to work, because it is, in fact, a cupcake and has pathetic speed. So, that's the story of Nagi and I's battle. I hope you enjoyed it. It was dumb and stupid, and it, it was not very competitive. But I don't care. You've got to have those in a while, every once in a while. Um, it's necessary, I feel. Yeah, that's it. It's the game. Uh, yeah, leave a like. It's, it's going to be me. I'll see you next time. Hope you don't die. Oh, bye.